Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, Thursday's trading, the 1st of September 2016. Be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happened today in terms of market data. Now, the uh, stats round up here, folks. The uh, European market certainly swooned towards the close. The FTSE certainly down, which I'll come into and explain exactly what's happened there because I was certainly whipsawed on the FTSE today, uh, and it certainly has been a tricky one to, uh, to forecast. The DAX... Down uh, 58 points, the uh, French CAC, surprisingly strong. Okay, actually fl finished flat for the day and certainly ignored the uh, the German DAX weakness. And then um, we certainly had the Euro stocks as well mixed as well. So uh, we started off with the Asian markets, Nikkei, uh, more or less flat up 39 points. The Hang Seng, uh, impressive, 0.8% higher. And the uh, Shanghai, certainly weaker, minus 0.7%. As first and foremost, Chinese data certainly came in more or less in line or slightly weaker. Certainly not weak enough to uh, trigger any additional stimulus, and therefore the Shanghai finished at negative 0.7%. Then we had the FTSE that certainly gapped higher, then obviously pushed lower quite substantially, and I'll certainly elaborate on that. Uh, initially, we had the uh, the US markets flushed overnight because of the fact that we had um, uh, oil data that certainly came out on the weaker side. Uh, excessive supply of oil uh, generally indicates a lower oil price. And that's exactly what transpired. So we had the uh, FTSE certainly uh, moving her lower and the US market certainly moving lower until they recovered late into the session. In regards to the uh, FTSE this morning, it certainly gapped higher on the back of Saudi comments of a potential, uh, obviously, uh, output freeze and a conclusion. And that certainly triggered a short squeeze until the Russian comments came on board and we had stronger UK data that certainly, uh, uh, certainly argued for the lack of, well, certainly, uh, a reduction of um, of any additional QE or any uh, rate cuts and therefore uh, sent the FTSE spiralling lower. Okay, And that certainly is the summation really for the FTSE 100. In terms of the European markets really, uh, okay yes they did take heart from the fact that we had stronger uh, Chinese data or basically Chinese data that came in line and wasn't exactly weaker, weaker, weaker than everybody expected. We had retail sales from uh, CHF, SWIFTS, Certainly coming on the weaker side. Uh, Italian data, certainly a PMI to come in the weaker side. French PMI on the weaker side. Uh, German PMI, net net uh, overall, more or less flat, whereas the EU PMI certainly coming in on the weaker side as well. Then we move on to US data, or should I say UK data, coming in stronger than expected. Well, again, that triggered a, a risk off move due to risk off move due to the fact that uh, we had the uh, situation uh, in terms of stronger data. Obviously, means no further. Additional QE or oh, no further rate cuts again, which is actually uh, hawkish for sterling, and that certainly sends sterling higher. Let's just bring up a chart of sterling for you, folks. Okay, if I bring up a chart of sterling, go over to GBP USD. Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, impressive frost and a rally in sterling, which again is generally considered to be negative for equity markets. So again, certainly take that on board. Okay. Uh, in terms of the, um, or in terms of the U.S. data, then U.S. data certainly came out in terms of uh, jobless claims, challenge job cuts certainly uh, uh, weaker than expected. Okay, uh, continuous jobless claims certainly came in on the uh, slightly stronger uh, side, but then you had initial jobless claims that came in on the weaker side, so a mixed signal there. Okay, uh, unit labor costs certainly rising <clears throat> again, adding to the. Uh, rate hike concerns okay as inflation certainly is starting to seep through uh, non-farm productivity certainly came in more or less flat uh, as expected at minus 0.6 which is still weak uh, you market pmi certainly came in slightly weaker and more or less in line ism manufacturing pmi certainly came in weaker ism prices paid certainly came in weaker construction spending certainly came in weaker as well so you can see a mixed batch of data there but overall net net certainly seems to be uh, on skewed towards the downside and certainly not supporting this uh, so-called recovery mode. And that obviously sent the Euro, the Aussie, and the Kiwi spiraling higher. Okay, it certainly triggered a short squeeze there. If I bring up the chart, the Euro USD. Okay, uh, again, you can see the 200 MA was in motion and then the Euro certainly Im enjoyed an impressive short squeeze higher. Okay, so again, uh, weaker data from the US certainly isn't 
exactly inspiring any confidence, okay? Certainly indicating a, a negative bias, okay, folks? Right, in terms of um, uh, the uh, the actual fundamental picture then, so let's start off with the German DAX. German DAX flush very hard today. Uh, certainly a bearish engulfing candle on a daily chart, 60-minute chart. You can see that we actually uh, surpassed and exceeded gap fill, okay? Gap fill support certainly have pushed even below there. So again, certainly a cause for concern given the fact that we are seeing a potential pivot low in the euro okay it did hold the uh, pivot s3 at 10490 the next potential support is at 10460 so bear that in mind folks okay so as you can see the gap not only did that gap close but the gap below close as well and even further so an impressive sell-off in the german dax today okay so that certainly needs to be respected and you like i said you have pivot s3 support so watch out for that potential support zone okay folks Right, so German DAX certainly under immense pressure, and therefore you are looking at pressure obviously feeding through into US equities. The French CAC, as I explained, uh, it's a totally different situation, totally different equation altogether. We uh, certainly bounced very handsomely off gap fill, and the French CAC certainly finished very, very strong going into the close. Okay, Currently trading after hours around the 4450 zone, so you are now coming into potential resistance on the French CAC. Okay. Uh, if we do push higher on the French CAC, then you do have the next level of resistance at 4470, but certainly into a solid resistance zone at this current juncture, okay? Right, in terms of the FTSE 100 now, let's just see exactly where that's stationed and that's positioned. Okay, so the daily chart first and foremost, as you can see here, we failed to hold that previous resistance equals support, I actually dipped through. Next potential zone that could come into play is 6610. So we'll certainly be open to this potential 6610 being all coming in coming into play with oil prices. <laughs> Languishing at the um, $43 level. So again, certainly bear that in mind. Okay, you do have potential support at 6710, uh, 6700. Okay, in terms of 60 minute support, realistically you had support at 6740, but we certainly traded below that now. Uh, the next potential real uh, test of support really is in this zone at 6690 and obviously 6670 as well. So those two zones are going to be quite important for the, um, the actual FTSE 100, okay? 10-minute chart, we certainly seem to be in a series of lower lows and lower highs, and I can't see that stopping at all. That certainly will resume the concept of lower lows and lower highs, and you will certainly see a lower low uh, very, very soon, especially given the fact that oil prices... Are down at $43 okay now we're talking about oil let's just quickly bring oil up for you okay go to a daily chart and it certainly is one hell of a flush okay certainly is one impressive impressive flush you do have support down at 42 and it is going to be interesting how the market responds to that okay if I take the pivot low take it to the pivot high you're into that fib 61% now as well so certainly uh, take that into consideration in terms of fund trading oil okay Okay, I think that certainly is a summation then, really, in terms of the uh, next potential move. Uh, the tech core share really is telling, given the fact that uh, it's certainly holding that resistance zone. Certainly is holding the resistance, certainly not moving or pushing higher, and therefore indicating a risk aversion. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the 25% uh, bonus. Goodbye now.